The graph of a continuous probability distribution is a curve where probability is represented by area under the curve and the total area under the curve is equal to one, which equals 100%. In the first example, we are given x is a continuous random variable such that the probability that x is less than 7.4 is equal to 0 0.13 and the probability that x is less than 18.8 .8 equals 0 0.31. We're asked to find the probability that x is greater than 7.4 and less than 18.8. .8. Let's just assume the curve below it represents the probability distribution for the random variable x. Let's assume 7.4 is approximately here. So if x equals 7.4 is here, and the probability that x is less than 7.4 is equal to 0 0.13, the area under the curve to the left of 7.4 must equal 0 0.13 which should be this area here. We also know the probability that x is less than 18.8 .8 equals 0 0.31. So if 18.8 .8 is approximately here, the area to the left of 18.8 .8 under the curve must equal 0 0.31, which also includes the area to the left of 7.4, which would be this orange area here. which means if you want to find the probability that x is greater than 7.4 and less than 18.8, .8, we need to find the area under the curve between 7.4 and 18.8, .8, which should be this blue area here. The area between 7.4 and 18.8 .8 is equal to the area to the left of 18.8, .8, which we know is equal to 0 0.31, minus the area to the left of 7.4, which you know is equal to 0 0.13. 0 0.31 minus 0 0.13 is equal to 0 0.18, which gives us the probability that x is greater than 7.4 and less than 18.8. For the second part, again, x is a continuous random variable. Now the probability that x is less than 11 is equal to 0 0.31. We're asked to find the probability that x is greater than 11. Let's assume 11 is here. Since the probability that x is less than 11 is equal to 0 0.31, the area under the curve to the left of 11 is equal to 0 0.31, this orange area. To find the probability that x is greater than 11, we need to find the area to the right of 11, which would be this blue area here. Well, if we know the total area under the curve is equal to one, and the area to the left of 11 is 0 0.31, the area to the right of 11 must be equal to one minus 0 0.31, which is equal to 0 0.69, which means our probability that x is greater than 11 equals 0 0.69. I hope you found this helpful.